Hey everyone, Troutflies here with another tutorial. Today's topic is going to be how I set up my Euronymphing rig. A Euronymphing rig is all personal preference. What works for my casting and fishing may not work for yours, but I just figured I'd uh, demonstrate how I set mine up. So I use an Orvis Hydros Tactical Nymph line. Really thin and won't sag in the guides. To it, I attach a 5 foot section of 12 pound fluorocarbon. I attach it to the fly line's loop using a clinch knot. It'll go through the guides pretty well and you don't have to tie a nail knot which is a bonus in my book. So to that 5 foot section of 12 pound I attach a 5 foot section of 10 pound fluorocarbon through a blood knot. This adds a little bit of taper and makes it the rig slightly easier to cast than a level line. I use my UV clear trick here and just put a little bit of UV clear on each side of the knot and coat the ridges so it'll run smooth through the first few guides. This knot tends to spend a lot of time up near those guides so I like to make it as smooth as possible. And this is a pretty good trick to do that. I'm just curing it up here. I've never had a failure at this knot using this UV clear resin. So it should be pretty strong. I'll test the knot here and show. Yep, didn't break. So to that section, I add my cider material. This is Rio 1X cider material by color. Right now I'm measuring off seven color changes. That's just kind of my reference point. It'll lead to a three or four foot cider. I like red on both ends. I see the red a little bit better, but you can decide what works best. So I've tied a blood knot to one end of the cider. And then I snip off the fluorocarbon tag, but leave on the cider tag. Just helps you see the top end of the cider. I'm then measuring out three sections of the cider and sn snipping at the color change. I tie a blood knot here and leave the tags on. This middle tag will help you see if the cider straightens out or does anything weird. You can see how small the tippet rings are. I keep the, if you're using a new tippet ring, keep it attached to the holding swivel and then tie the clinch knot. It'll make it easier to seat the knot. And leave a tag on for the bottom end of the cider. Next I take a five foot four to five foot section of 5X fluorocarbon and then tie it to the tippet ring and snip off the tag. To that piece of Tip it, I tie a 18 to 24 inch section of 5X using a triple surgeon's knot. Snip off the top tag and then tie your lighter fly to the bottom tag. I tie my heavier fly on point because I feel like it keeps the rig in line for me and keeps everything tight. I know some people prefer to tie the heavier fly to the tag. It's all personal preference there. Just do what you think fish is best for you. So here I am just tying on the lighter fly. That's it for the rig. Pretty simple. You can assemble it using different line weights or different lengths of cider. This is just kind of how I do mine. I encourage you to either try it out if you haven't tried a Euro Euronymphing rig or play around with how I set mine up. Let me know down in the comments what you would do differently and how you set up your nymphing rig. Or how you set up your urine nymphing rig. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you found this helpful.